All right, so Mi11X MI here 12.5.7 stable beta has been out for three to four days and a lot of you have been asking me why haven't I reviewed this particular update. Couple of reasons, one, I was not keeping well, two, I tried it and I didn't find any huge major changes which are worthy of a review but then I thought that this is an enhanced edition and sort of Xiaomi loves the Redmi K40 or the Poco F3 or the Mi 11X a lot because they do give a lot of importance to this device. It is sort of significant that we go ahead and talk about this update and that's what we are going to do in today's video. So before we get into this quick review of Mi 12.5.7 Enhanced Edition, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,500 people with similar devices there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Right, so MIUI update once again, it's become very interesting to go ahead and review this thing. If you are a regular subscriber, you would remember that there was a whole series that I had released for Poco F1, the Redmi K20 Pro and some videos for the Mi 11X as well. Now, in that particular series, I was talking about truth behind MIUI updates because I was, you know, sort of finding out that they are slowing down phones. Now, they have definitely got my attention with this particular device because they seem to be improving a lot of things. Not only this, also with the Poco X3 Pro, which is a good thing. Now, remember, before we get into the review of this thing, these devices are in their so-called mid-cycle. And if you've seen truth behind MIUI updates, what happens is Xiaomi releases a phone, which is performing great. By the mid-cycle, they make it even better and then they bog it down. So it'll be interesting to see MI 13 onwards, how good or bad the performance is, but let's talk about this particular update. So the moment you go to about phone and you go to all specifications, you will see that it actually comes with the December security patch. Now at the time of making this video, this particular update was available for pilot testers only. That means I have flashed it through TWRP and formatted the device. A clean installation is what you would call that. So that is the reason you see 12.5.7. You will probably not have not received it. December security patch, a very good thing by Xiaomi. If you go over here and you click on what's new, optimized system performance, improved system security and stability. As always, a minor update, security patch added, nothing new. So let's see over here, apart from December security patch, what are the significant changes that I have got? Now, I will not tell you that this device have gotten smoother in this particular update because with 12.5.5, it was already flying in 120 Hz mode. It was already doing a great job and it continues to do so, right? So that's a good thing for Mi 11X users. As you can see, the device is very, very snappy and why should it not be? Because it's a Snapdragon 870 that you're talking about. Even the app icon animations are doing a great job. Multitasking is a breeze. Everything almost works as expected. I did not notice any overheating in this particular update and we do have the benchmark numbers available. So let's go ahead and talk about things one by one. Let's first talk about things that are available. So unfortunately in the Indian version, if you have the Mi 11X and you go to battery over here, you will not see the option of performance profiles. If you have a Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 and you flash this particular update, through TWRP, you will see that. Now, I really don't know why are they doing this discrimination, but yeah, Xiaomi knows. Very, very unusual, very, very weird. Now, one big thing that I noticed as far as battery life and charging is concerned, it charged from one to hundred percent in under one hour. So 58 to 59 minutes, one to hundred percent while the screen was off and stuff like that. It's really, really good speed for 33 watt charging. And if you talk about the battery life, we received around five hours of screen on time. This is not really the accurate estimate because I've been turning on and turning off the device a lot of times. But yes, the screen on time is pretty improved, pretty decent. You don't get the battery profiles over here. Now, if you actually scroll further down and you go to, you know, special features, you now have a new video toolbox. For example, let's enable this on YouTube and let's go to YouTube over here. Now you will see that you have this video toolbox over here, which has sort of a new UI and it works absolutely fine, right? Now, if you go to settings and you go to this particular option called system apps updater, you see that I have updated quite a few applications and I've also updated the security APK. Even then I don't really have that performance optimization profile or battery or performance toggle there. 
right now moving on if you talk about the game mode say let's launch about the cpu throttle test so let's see here you have the old game mode you don't have game mode 4.0 which has the performance profile and those features so that's something weird and that's something missing now if you go to the quick tiles over here you don't have data usage the power menu is still the old not the new power menu so we are about to get miui 13 and we still don't have the new power menu which is really really weird for indian users one more small disappointment is that you get the old gallery ui you still don't get the new gallery ui and even if you go to privacy settings over here you will see that you have the old user interface you don't really have the one that you get in the china stable roms right now system app uninstall option is also missing which means things like file manager and stuff which they showcased you cannot go ahead and uninstall them and if you actually go to settings and apps uninstall system apps yeah that option is there in it anyways so, you know, all in all, if you ask me about this particular update, how is my experience has been pretty good. You know, I mean, this is something you can use for day to day usage. This is one device in which I can say you can rely on the stock ROM. You can rely on the stock update and use it as a daily driver. Although very soon there's going to be a video coming up, which will compare two Mi 11X devices, one which is more of your use case. A person who is on a locked bootloader relying on MIUI updates and he has filled the phone, it's his business phone and versus a clean flashed one. So his phone has sort of got bogged down after putting in a lot of data, using it again and again, wiping the cache, rebooting, he's tried everything but still he's getting sort of a lot of stutters and jitters even on 12.5.5 enhanced edition. So that's something weird but that will be a speed test that will be coming up. And if you ask me, as I said, you know, the camera application is still the same old, same old, nothing new there, no new features. So this is a UI which was introduced with MIA 12.5. If you go to the Google feed, yeah, not only on stock Android 12 ROMs, even on Android 11 stock ROM of this enhanced edition, see how smooth in the 120 Hertz mode the Google feed is. It works absolutely fine. Now, if you further go to security over here, you will see the animations are pretty good and let's go to settings 5.5.1 this is the one that you have you don't really have the 5.8 or 5.9 versions which are the latest ones and apart from this if you go to settings over here and you go to always on display you have the notification effect option over here in other regions it is there in a different location and moving on, you will see that this is more or less optimization and bug fixes. Fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine. Fast charging, as I mentioned, works absolutely fine. You do have the usual super wallpapers, which work absolutely okay on your always on display and stuff like that. So all in all, nothing like, you know, something which is a very, very significant update. And we are very, very close to MIUI 13 and that should be dropping in a week's time. So it's exciting times. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this particular update for the Mi 11X? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.